Hey everyone, in this video we'll be explaining how to use page copies, copy groups, duplicates, and template copies with the same slot numbers. Our step and repeat tool for textiles, wallpaper, or cloth will be explained in another video. For our first example, we have this tavern decal that we want to print 10 times on our DTF printer. The width of the print should be 11.8 inches and we want to use page copies. With the job loaded into the queue, select the job, and on the lower right in the status menu, select the job tab. Type 11.8 inches in the item width field. The height will adjust proportionally with the lock icon enabled. Now click on the page tab. Type 10 in the field for total page outputs. Select your job again and click on the print icon at the top and 10 pages will be printed. Next, we'll print multiple small versions of the decal at three and a half inches each. Select the job, and as in the first example, select the job tab. Type 3.5 inches into the width field. Click on the copies button. An initial copy has been created. You can set the number of columns and rows as well as the total number of copies in the copy group. In the fields below, you can set the horizontal and vertical spacing between the decals. If you select the copy by area button, the fields for rows, columns, and total number of copies will switch to the fields for the width and length of the area to be filled with the decals at a previous set size of 3.5 inches. You can also set the number of copies manually by dragging handles located on the right and bottom of the group. The copy group will be set automatically. As a result, we've created a copy group of 15 decals from our one job. When printing copy groups, only the first row is ripped. This ripped row is then placed under the initial row using the vertical spacing previously set. The advantage of processing the job in this manner is that it saves a large amount of ripping time compared to every copy being ripped individually. This way you can produce a large number of decals even faster. In our next example, we're going to print multiple signs in a number of sizes from the same job at the same time. This is done using duplicates. Starting with the job selected in the queue, click the duplicate button found on the job tab in the lower right in the status menu. The dialog asks for the number of duplicates and whether the duplicate is a clone of an independent copy. We'll make six copies and choose clone of current object. Six more jobs have been created in the queue. Since auto page was set on the page tab, the jobs are on individual pages. Each job can be sized individually on their own page tab. Select the first two duplicate jobs in the queue and set the item scale factor to 75%. the next two jobs to 50%, and the next two jobs after that to 33%. We want to print all the copies on one page. To do this, ensure no jobs are selected in the queue by clicking an empty area within the queue window. On the Page tab, click on the Nest All button. A dialog will appear stating that the current layout will be lost and the jobs will be out of order or on different pages. Click Yes. All the duplicates are nested on a page and are still independent. Each job can have a different color adjustment and can be resized, rotated, mirrored, or tiled. Finally, we'll show you how to use templates for multiple copies. To prepare your queue to use templates, Go to the Properties of your queue by clicking on the queue menu and selecting Properties. In the Queue Properties dialog, select Media Setup in the Settings sections on the left. In the Type dropdown on the right, select Template Media. We've previously created a template with 25 identical slots. Their dimensions are 2 by 3 inches. Note the label 1 in each slot, all slots will have the same graphic imported. To learn to set up and create templates, please view our tutorial on our YouTube channel using custom template creation for wide format printing in Digital Factory V10. Select the template name in the name dropdown list below the type dropdown. Click OK. Import your job and the import template job dialog will appear. Here you have two options, Express, which uses the template you have already selected in the queue tab, or Select, which allows you to choose from other existing templates. Select also gives you the option of choosing which slot your job will be imported to on the page. We want to fill all the slots in the template for one page, so we set copies to one and press the Express button. When using the template system, 
Digital Factory rips the first job and then places the ripped file into each slot. You can use page copies to print multiple pages as shown before. Template slots do not all have to be the same size. You can use templates with different sizes and print the same image at different sizes. The software will automatically make duplicates instead of copies. In this example, we created two small and two larger copies in a template as they are different sizes. A duplicate job is created for the larger copies as well as for the smaller ones. Finally, when you use the duplicate button, you have two choices, clone of current object or independent copy. If you choose to clone the object, any effect or production plugin you apply to the duplicate will be applied to all the duplicates as well as the original. If you chose independent copy, all effects applied to the individual duplicate will remain with that duplicate. This way you can create a series of duplicates, each with different effects on them. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit the like button, and if you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering all of Catling's products.